All right, this is your boy Jug out with a new video. Okay, so before I even get started, I'd like to ask all my friends if you guys could please, you know, drop a like, subscribe, and you know, maybe even drop a comment below. You know, what do you think of the video? Uh, what do you guys think I could have added, or maybe even just taken off? Um, I'd really like to get my subscribers up to a thousand, so that maybe I could start doing a few extra things with my videos. You know, maybe even going live, do maybe uh, some Q&A stuff. So maybe I can talk about some things that I just don't have time to make videos for. Um, or maybe, you know, maybe you guys can give me some, you know, some insight onto what you guys are seeing and what maybe what I'm missing. So that's kind of my hope for the future. Um, again, it does help if you guys do share this and, you know, maybe ask your friends to subscribe if they can. I know a lot of people are watching some of my videos and I know a lot of people are, you know, maybe they don't like it. Maybe it's just one of those things they don't think about, but it does help my channel and it gives me more of an opportunity to create more videos for you guys. Uh, you know, if I'm even possibly making money in the future uh, from YouTube. Um, honestly, right now it's not even a consideration of mine because I've already got other things going on. But, you know, it gives me more uh, motivation to, to keep making stuff for you guys. So here I'm going to be talking about some stuff you guys can do for free in the game, right? So let's say maybe you're starting out on a new castle, or maybe you, you neglected this part of the game, whatever the case may be, okay? So here we're looking at the... The basic uh, development ingots. Uh, these ones in particular, these are ones you can get free in the game, okay? So if you look at, uh, let's go back in here, sorry. Um, so we're over at the economy side, okay? And you can, you can access this through the economy or the basic, right? So if you click on the chest up here at the top right next to the X, and then you go to scrolls, okay? This is going to tell you how many scrolls that you have all you know for each each bit a bit of equipment okay and this is going to be important for my next video okay but we're just talking about basic development ingots right now okay so how can you you know if you don't have enough to create everything how can you use this to your advantage okay so let's say for whatever event you needed you need um you need to kick up your research or your construction speed okay so what you can do here let's say you only have 60 ingots that's it right or maybe you only got 30 whatever the case may be so I can forge this I forge the overseer hat and then I go and forge the boots okay um, and I can go ahead and just go and enhance this Right? I can rock this all the way at the top as long as you got the steel. You know, maybe you might have to, uh, you're, you're going to have to adjust things, you know, depending on what materials you have. Or maybe you can buy some steel with gold. Maybe ask friends to send you a bit of steel. Um, okay. All right. So now I've already kicked, I've, uh, I've managed to, with just 60 ingots, increase my construction speed. Uh, or research speed or even uh, threat march speed or troop upkeep up quite a bit just for 60 ingots well the nice thing is you go to the forge you dismantle that dismantle that right just for 60 ingots now I can also kick up my you know I can go back and kick up my production speed okay uh, so you basically just kind of working with what you got. You couldn't, you could, you could do this before, but you know, you you had the, you know, you had to use speed ups, or you had to wait for the equipment to finish. And I did sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I, when I only had two hundred, I think it was, I was, you know, I was dismantling, uh, and and I was getting prepared for the next event to come up, and it was just an absolute pain. This is a, this is huge for the game, right? You know, especially for newer people or. Or people who neglected this part of the game, right? Okay, so let's look at this chain of success, right? So this is going to increase 
my um, gathering speed, right? Or your troop load, okay? Or and your troop load, sorry. So I can go ahead and just forge this one and I can go up to the coat and I can forge that one and, and rock it all the way up. You get all your steel back and you get all your ingots back, okay? You know, and as you start to collect these materials, you know, a little bit more, I can create just one from the, um, let's just go with a sword for production, okay? The sword is going to give you better for production than the actual ring, okay? So, but, let's see, so I have 130 here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the prosperity set. And I'm going to forge this. All right. So, and I'm going to rock this all the way up to the top. Okay. Boom. All right. So, and you go to enhancement. Sorry. Got a bit of a brain fart there. I'm going to enhance this thing all the way up to the top. All right. And then I'm going to go back. I probably, and I'm going to go to the harvest set. I'm going to rock this ring all the way up to the top. Okay. Uh, equip, enhance. All right, so why is this important? You know, well, certain events require you to do certain things, right? Um, and I'm going to be talking about today's specific event, okay? So I've got this one. I need to, need to make sure that it's equipped. All right, so if I go into my profile up here at the top, Ash King K440, right? So I've got my regular equipment equipped, but I've got this sword for production. And I got this ring for production as well, okay? And why is that important? Well, if you look at this, to this event today, the pirate chest, for example, um, and you go into the question mark here, you go all the way down to the bottom, right? It says you need to collect resources in your estate and outside to get, to get these rewards, right? So kicking up your production just for this event is going to give you more resources from these tiles here. Right? I've already collected them, but you know you can see how this could be beneficial. Let's say the next day you need to gather resources, right? Or you can, you know, uh, a little trick you could do. You know, you can basically send out a march to, let's say, your alliance resource mine. Okay, so you can just create the coat for gathering resources. And then you can create the, it's probably better if I'm showing this stuff, right? So let's go back into economy. Uh, let's go to prosperity, right? So I can just dismantle this, go and create my, uh, my royal coat, send the Alliance resource mine, you know, send whatever troops I want to send there. So I'm gathering resources faster, right? After they land and hit the resource mine, it doesn't matter what you have equipped they're still gonna uh gather at that resource speed okay the only way that changes um is if you're let's say you know i've i don't have the code equipped and then um you know, i've got my regular uh battle coat right or whatever coat whatever whatever it is that you're wearing right so and i've got the uh necklace here if i don't have those equipped and i go up here and i Let's say I wanna, I wanna get those resources even faster, right? Go to estate buffs. If I hit this uh, gathering speed, okay, it, it actually changes uh, your your gathering speed altogether. So it'll actually kick you back as if you didn't even enter that resource mine with the coat, right? It basically just changes the percentages around, and it it, it, it messes things up. So I've had a lot of people say, hey, you know, I hit this uh, gathering speed and now, you know, I've actually lost resources. It's because, you know, one, you did one of two things, all right? You, you either didn't have your uh, gathering, you know, your, your coat equipped for gathering resources and you didn't have this ring equipped for gathering resources, okay? Another thing you probably might have done is maybe you change your guards because you have your guards for gathering resources. Oh, this let's just say this one for example, right? And this one here. Okay, so if you if if you don't have the equipment equipped, equipped, 
with the guards equipped, it's gonna change the percentages if you hit this resource boost, okay? It basically just changes something in the game. I really, uh, I'm not gonna try to dive deep into it, why it's happening, um, but it's the same if you're in tiles, right? Um, I'm gonna show this kind of in action. So let's say I wanna go to the, to the Alliance resource mine, okay? Um, I'm probably gonna have to teleport to get there, but that's okay. So again, I want to go to economy, go to prosperity. I'm just gonna dismantle this. I already told them to ignore Alliance chat because the, the biggest problem with doing this uh, right now, unless Gunzagori changes it, or, or maybe they give an option where you can turn this on and off, right? So, for example, if you go into your profile, go into settings, um, you go into your account and account management. No, sorry, not account management. Oh, sorry. It's uh, game settings, right? They have, you can turn these buttons on and off, right? Um, I'm hoping that they'll eventually be able, you, you can turn this off so other lords can't see what you're equipping or what, sorry, what you're creating or you can turn off what other people are, are making. Most likely it's gonna have to be an individual basis. Like, I'm gonna have to do it. Otherwise, I, I honestly don't think there's a way to turn off the setting, not the way they have the game programmed. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to, you know, you can go in here and just turn it off. I know it's nice when you create something and showing everybody, but doing this trick is going to absolutely flood um, Alliance chat with every time every time you do it, right? I've already told these guys that uh, that I'm kind of messing about with the equipment, right? So again, I need economy gear, prosperity set, right? So I need to forge this. And even though we're on silver, I'm still going to show you guys something, right? So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna enhance this. Boom, and I'm gonna go down to harvest set, right? Um, I said I'm probably driving them nuts, forging this stuff and recreating it. So I'm going to do this in a one video, I'm not gonna, Go back and try to do it again. Okay, so enhancement, enhance, 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 right? Why is this important? Okay, why is it important to have this ring on when I'm going for silver? Ah, uh, misclicked again. Um, there's a reason for that actually. If you go here, even though I'm going after silver, it gives me an extra 10% to my troop load. And this is really important when you're a small castle. In the long run, maybe troop load is not very important. Some people agree, some people disagree. I personally think it is important, and I'll explain that in another video, okay? I've already done one video on it. It's called, uh, you gotta search uh, Guns of Glory, Alliance Resource Mine, Double RSS. That's when you're, uh, resource per, uh, so your troop load is important if you're doing a, that kind of trick or maybe you're hitting a farm okay troop load is important for that um you're gonna be able to carry more resources and you can hit your farms faster especially if you're opening something silly like 30 million silver you don't want to be sitting there all day doing it okay um so i'm going to i'm pretty sure in my inventory i don't have an alliance Port. So I'm probably going to have to buy one. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to go to Alliance, Store, Items, right? Sorry guys, I'm going to buy this here. I buy these fort ports if I want to get closer, just because it saves me from buying uh, a regular teleport. So in this one, I don't, I've only got two teleports, so I'm going to use this one. So I go into Items, Other... Boom, Fortress Teleport. And I'm just gonna land, boom, okay. So, 
If I don't, let's see here. Let me go show. Where is the Alliance resource mine? I don't even have to look for it. I always just go in. Sorry, if I'm looking, if you're looking for this stuff, click Alliance, click Territory, Resources. Actually, oh, we're on iron. Okay, we haven't been on iron for so long. Um, I'm guessing they're going for a little, you know, or not a little, smaller castle grub. I don't like calling people little, okay? Everybody was little once, right? Okay, so some people refer to them as littles, right? So right here it says my troop load is 177, right? So 177,000, okay? That's with battle gear on, okay? So how's that going to change? Boom, change that. Change that. And this troop load is more important if you're going to be off for longer, right? If you don't log in very often, you know, maybe you only log in once a day. Maybe you need to log off, you know, maybe you're not going to log in for a couple days. It's Your, your troop load is going to help you. Okay, so, <clears throat> wow, you know, it's a, it was 177,000 before, I believe, right? And now I'm up to 237,000. Okay, that's just with my equipment, you know, and that's a fair amount of resources there. Okay, and it's gonna gather it faster. Okay, so another way you can kind of manipulate troop load. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the video. Boom, I think, I'm pretty sure I got the, this guard here. Uh, as with this little guard here, I don't have the guards for it. This will give you more for your troop load. She's gonna give you more for your resources. If you're even, you know, lower, this guy will eventually give you uh, resource gathering speed. And he's a lot easier to get but as soon as you get her, right off the bat, you get resource gathering speed. So my girl Constance is always gonna be on, right? And right now he doesn't give any uh, iron gathering speed. So I'm going to move it over to this boy here, silver production, okay? Just cause I, I want my silver. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to Get more resources, alliance, territory, resources. I know this video is long, but I promise you, it's gonna help you and you know, hopefully help your, your, your smaller castles. All right, so I'm gonna gather these resources and I'm gonna speed this up a bit just cause you guys don't wanna sit here for a whole minute, okay? Uh, no, I don't wanna spend gold. I really didn't want to spend gold, but I'm getting there faster, okay? So, once this lands, it's going to be, you know, I've already got my resource gathering speed, okay? So, let's see, it says it's going to take me 6 hours and 27 minutes, right? With a full march, I don't have enough troops in this, in this farm, um... But if I did, you know, it, it could be 25 hours, 26 hours, whatever, right? Um, so now I want to gather even faster, right? So I'm going to go to state buffs. Let's say it says 25 hours, right? I'm going to go to gathering speed because it has to be after you land. If you use this uh, before you go, it the game doesn't even register as, as, uh, as working, right? So I'm going to hit that gathering speed. It didn't take off a whole lot of time, but if, you know, again, with a full march or a high troop load, it makes a huge difference, okay? So, now I don't need that equipment anymore, right? I can just go in. Boom. Economy. Harvest set, right? I'm just going to dismantle that. Boom. Okay. Why am I going to dismantle it? Because I am getting the most out of two events. Okay. Dismantle. Okay. So now I'm going to go to this sword here. I'm going to forge this sword. Why dare you ask? I'll get right to that. I promise. Okay. So I'm going to rock that sword all the way up. Okay. It doesn't take very long, like, you know, once you get used to this interface, I'm still getting used to it myself. And I'm going to go for the ring for resource production. Forge. Boom. 
enhancement, enhance, enhance, enhance. Okay. Again, I mean, if you're in an older kingdom, this is probably not going to help you much. But if you got some, you know, new players coming to your older kingdom, or you're just starting out in a new kingdom fresh, this little trick is going to help you. Why is it going to help you? All right. Okay, so you go to this pirate event, and let's go to the question mark, right? Uh, let's go all the way down to the bottom here. It says, collect resources by visiting the vampire messenger, gathering resources outside your city to earn faded pirate chest keys. All right. And it says, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it doesn't actually say about getting them inside your estate. But you can. Eh, I'm missing something here. Gathering resources. Okay, so you can actually get them from gathering these resources in your estate. Okay. Um, I mean, you could. I'm not. I mean, I, I normally won't with a farm, unless there's, you know, unless I'm gonna be, unless I got four or five of them open up on my computer, right? Or I got five phones going. Whatever the case may be. That's another way to kick up your resources. Okay, so I can I can get pirate chest keys from these. Like I said, I've already gathered them. But so you want to actually let these kind of like collect, right? If you don't let them collect, then you know, or so you don't let the the resources collect in these tiles, you're not going to get anything. All right, yeah, you've got to let them collect for at least a few hours minimum. Okay, so now with only 130 scrolls, I'm able to get more resources. Sorry, more pirate chest keys, and I'm able to gather more resources, right? So let's say, okay, now I'm done, right? Now I need to, let's say I need to construct something. Ah, I clicked on the wrong thing again. All right, so this is getting the most out of uh, the little that you got, right? Let's go into the harvest set, dismantle, boom. Again, this is probably going to drive your alliance a bit nuts unless everybody's kind of doing it right maybe people will start private messaging more or whatever so now it's time for me to do construction right so i'm going to make my boots i'm going to enhance these right all right maybe i need to do construction and research and i'm going to do it for this video's sake right it's about time i start paying a little more attention to this one anyways um oh sorry so I need my hat, right? So I'm going to forge my hat. Boom. And I'm going to enhance that. So now I'm able to get everything I need with just, uh, you know, a minimal amount of scrolls. Whether it's 60 or 30, whatever the case may be, you don't need as many anymore. You know, you only need 30 or 100 really to get the max benefit from each of these okay so let's go to research right boom research all right so i need to research creations um i definitely do the creations in this right so um if i did if i do have this equipment equipped it's gonna be two hours and 40 minutes okay uh, let's go to something that's a bit higher um, I don't even know what the research is like in this one here. Um, this one's going to be 3 hours and 20 minutes. I don't think I have much research in this one. Um, maybe some more on the development side. I'm looking for something that more takes a long time. Training speed. There we go. All right, so that's 6 hours and 31 minutes. Okay. Um, now I'm going to equip the hat change and this is gonna be more useful when you start getting some of these researches that take a long time right so let's go into research get more done faster All right and, or save up save on speed ups you know what i mean if you just want to rock through this stuff boom there you go uh, you don't need as much equipment anymore. So, let's see. Where was I at? I was at... Oh, yeah. Development. Training speed. No. I'm going to go to training speed. You know, that knocked off 
more than an hour, right? So, boom, and that's gonna save me an hour speed up. I mean, it's not much, but if you're doing a whole lot, and you know, and you're just trying to get a bunch of construction done, or you're trying to push a small castle, go for it, guys. Take advantage of this new interface. Thank you, Guns of Glory. Um, now let's go to construction, right? I'm going to, this is a farm, so I'm gonna be hitting up this right here. So, no, I'm not gonna do that one just because I don't wanna waste resources in my pack, you know, in my packs. I'm going to do this one here. Oh, there we go, I only need to use, use up some wood, okay? So, you know, if you need to push a bunch of research or a bunch of construction or, um, let's say you wanna buy the, the temporary wonders that you can get up here, right? You guys can get a lot, all right, so you can get a lot more out of your game for a little, right? You know, here you can buy, um, for 400 gold, you can get this for, for two hours, right? So for, you know, for two hours, you're just rocking construction out, right? Or two hours, you know, you're rocking out research speed. You can, you know, you can still do it with minimal amount of equipment. Um, I really hope this helps somebody out there. You know, I'm, I'm liking this new interface. Uh, again, right now, this is just for the free to play uh, equipment that you guys can get in game. Um, again, this is your boy Jug out with a new interface. Get more from your game with just a little bit that you got. Video. Peace.